Yo, alright guys, what up, it's Calplex here. And before the, this video even starts, and I do want to say I'm sorry if you guys did miss the live stream, it was kind of like out of nowhere. It was Tuesday the 20th of December. If you missed that stream, I'm sorry, it's on my channel if you want to just watch it. It should be my previous video, this one. But in that live stream, it was amazing. I had like a more, another amazing time again. I do enjoy live streaming on YouTube. I think I enjoy it more than Twitch. But yeah, in that live stream, we hit, so, we got so many subscribers, I don't, I, I don't know what's, holy shit. But to everyone who subscribed, oh, I think 190, nearly 200 people subscribed, which is insane. My growth recently has been stupid, so much so that I've hit 3,000 subscribers already. Damn. Thank you again, and hopefully we can get back soon, which is going to be amazing. But thank you so much to 3,000 subscribers. I'll probably be doing another something special, I don't know. Maybe I'll do another live stream, because that was really fun. 3,000 subscriber live stream, I don't know when I'll do that though. Probably be after Christmas. If you do have a Twitter, or if you don't, you can create one or not. Just do follow me on Twitter, because that's when I do notify when I'm going live. Or you can click the bell actually there's like a bell next to the youtube icon you don't have to click that if you don't want to but that's the best way to get notified when hey this channel's just gone live and you go oh i can now join calplex in this 3000 subscriber live stream and then you can join my game on skate 3 and also if you like guitar want to see me play guitar hero as a stream let me know in the comments section as well as uh i'll probably be doing that on twitch but yeah let's get on to today's video this game came out recently it's called steep it's where you can do paragliding is that what it's called I, I, you can do snowboarding skiing paragliding i want to say there's Two, there's two others and it's like that game looks amazing and I pretty I do want to get it when you have no money if I do have money I'll probably start saving up for like upgrading my setup and stuff which would probably be cool because I do have a 960 graphics card but hopefully in the future I can get a 1080 and just that'll probably just stay good for a while 960s 960s all right I can play a few games here and there I can record screen here and there but like games which are high demanding like GTA they can run GTA fine but just like at very low 1080p which I don't want anything higher than 1080p I'm not like too worried about that games games wise i just want it to run smoother and i can then when i get 140 fps or 144 hertz monitors then it'll be able to support that also i've decided to give my boom mom another mic don't you dare dare fall on me but anyway back to what i was saying with steve i'm not sure if any like people would probably just buy that game right now and um i guess it's like kind of seeing what skiing's like because it's, it's although there has been like snowboarding and skiing games out there before but there's never been like a, a really good realistic one before but there's been ssx that's a really good game recommend that game it's just that i'm bad at it like cyphers is amazing at that game but that game's like although skate 3 you can see how it's meant to be realistic and all that what i'm doing to it's not really realistic is it <laughs> But yeah, like, I have been skiing in real life before, but, like, it's nothing too special, it's just, I tried it for the first time. And the thing is, I went with my school, so, my school trip, is like a school trip, and I paid for it, I got everything ready to go. And we had to do a 24-hour bus journey to get to, fuck, where did I go? Austria? Austria. Alright, 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 I just want to know where it is. I just want to know where it is, shut up! Yeah. Austria. So it was a 24 hour bus journey to get to Austria and then that was not the best thing I've done in the world, let's just say that. I don't mind like traveling and all that stuff, but doing it for 24 hours is just AIDS. It's AIDS. Anyway, the first time skiing, my very first time putting skis on, they, it wasn't even feel like awkward. Like people find it hard to balance, people find it hard to get going, they feel unstable. But for me, I guess as I had like kind of some sporting knowledge from skateboarding and like I have skateboarded in real life before, I guess that kind of helped me out a bit. Pretty comfortable on skis as soon as I got them on, which is pretty cool. And I think, I don't want to sound like a cocky here, but like I felt confident in them and, and uh, I think the teaching like my tutor instructor was because we had like these three set we had like four groups <laughs> we had beginners which didn't know anything beginners which knew a little bit of something medium and people who have seen so many times before and my best friend was in the skier like 
the top group and they were going down black slopes red slopes and all that stuff and he, I'm not gonna lie he's pretty good at skiing but like on my very first day I, w I got moved up a group in under 15 minutes I went from not knowing anything to the middle like kind of group that group where they we knew what we were doing we just gotta get practice on the slope and I wouldn't move up from that group onwards because of course it's my first week ever skiing in my life and basically well, I'm not sure if there's different color slopes for different like places where you're at like you can be in the Alps you can be somewhere else where you ski I don't know where you can ski it's a really awkward focused face I just realized both of my trick lines have been down here. Ooh. That's what I wanted. That was a really shit clip, but like that little flip thing at the end is what I want. I've been practicing on that flip, the ending flip. So in under 15 minutes of me, I think it like of me being from beginners group, I got moved up group, and like he made us like see like see how confident we were on our skis, and I felt pretty chill on them, like not want to fuck up on them. <laughs> but as also on like the second day of me skiing, I taught myself how to parallel turn. Like the way the teachers taught us to turn was that we pulled both of our skis inwards. So these these are skis. We pushed both of them inwards to stop. But this one, if we want to turn, we just twist that one that way, and it will twist, it'll push us to the left. We don't, uh, we're not going like 100 miles an hour, so we're, we're pretty fine. by like, we're pretty fine with turning and all that. I kind of started to do that, but then I thought, why don't we just turn that one that way as well? And I start like cutting into it and start cutting into the turns. Started to parallel turn. Not sure if that's hard or not, but felt quite good. There's this one player which kicks kicking my ass. Is it the Legend 27? We went up this like, uh, you sit on these little, I've forgotten what they're called now. They're like, I want to say like a lift. You sit on them and they bring you up onto the top of the mountain, and then you can ski back down and you just keep doing that for as long as you've got really when we get up this there's three paths to go down either blue which is easy red which is ridiculously hard and then there's black which is literally if you're been skiing for Jesus knows how long 10 years and you feel really confident go down that one yeah you'll be fine but if you've been skiing for three days you will die if you go down that one literally death so we go up there and we gotta go and we gotta go down but the blue one just for more confidence and all that just to get us like ourselves ready for the slopes and all that first day fine I think I remember going up, up it once and it was fine but the, the next time we went up it they were doing repairs on the slope like I don't know what they're doing they had it barricaded off the, the ski lift only has one thing ski lift that's what it's called so this ski lift has one thing on it and that's just only up it doesn't bring you down or anything you have to ski down so with new experienced skiers we had to choose one which is really really hard or one which would kill us of course we chose the one which is really really hard bear in mind this is meant for people who ski down it when they've had like like a lot of experience i would say they've gone on like this trip around about three times i've been on it one day in three hours so i was not ready for this slope and also bear in mind that this slope would have been fine i wouldn't care if i was like just a slope and i could go down it this slope had like no edge to it so you can see off the mountain Mountain. You're just like, ah, oh, if I fall down on that, I will die. I'm gonna stick as far away from that as possible. I could have gone like parallel down the actual, like parallel ski down the actual mountain, but thing is, when you're that ex inexperienced at skiing, you, you're, you're just gonna do whatever the tutor tells you to do. Well, I just broke the whole way down. I like, kept my brake on, just kept braking and turn ever so slowly and just go down it and i think i can remember i think i remember seeing this so like my best friend was in the group above us and they were just skiing down it like a pro they were all going and they were just going past all of us i was like mate how are you doing that so i get down to the bottom and then the last group is just stood there waiting for us like the, the group which like slid down with my best friend in and they, they're waiting for us and they clapped at us like well done you managed to get down that considering i had three days experience not even three like one day's experience and we're like please don't do it again and luckily like now then he kind of was like, oh, I best check before I go out that the mountain, and, like, it's all clear and all that. Make sure that we can go down it and be safe whilst going down it. I remember, like, then at lunchtime, we would go sit in the cafeteria just eating our lunch and stuff. And one of the teachers who uh, was really nice, she was a really nice teacher, she came up to me and went, what drink do you want? I was like, what? She said, what drink do you want? She was like, what drink do you want? I'm buying you a drink because of the, what happened on the red slide. I was like, oh, what? You don't need to buy me that. that. That was not your fault. 
she, she felt honestly bad because that happened and we've had so little experience. But to go down that was probably made me feel better going down other slopes which are like meant to be a bit more harder on the... But like, with the blue colours they also have numbers so if it's like I think one's easy like blue one easy. Blue four hard. Like it goes one to four and four is hard. It's like and then the blue fours didn't seem that hard in the end because we went down like a three red. That was pretty much my time at skiing. Although I do remember once in my uh... I do remember once whilst like we stood there and the teacher is trying to give us some techniques on how what to do and all that, all that stuff. I remember the teacher lost control or just stood still and he fell down and he wasn't like the best like experience but he was more experienced than I was let's just say that and he fell down and then as all the teachers will go as everyone was going like you have to go wait until the next person goes go and then so it's like it's like a centipede one goes waits until like, three seconds then the next goes wait until the next one goes and then so it's like you don't all just crash into each other so like you're following each other's line so kind of like so you're all following each other's line in some way and as I'm, uh, I was at the back. I was one of the last ones to go, and then the teachers will be behind us, so, so that we can make sure they can make sure that all the kids have got through and all everything's good. And as I was about to go, the teacher lost his control and ran into me. So everyone else is going so far ahead, and I lost, I lost them. And that's why they keep the teachers at the back so that they can crash into us. Anyway, um, probably by the time this video is uploaded, it will be Christmas. If it is Christmas, hope you guys are all having a merry Christmas. I'll probably make like a quick little vlog, just my face cam, and yeah, that'll be probably be it. I hope you guys have a good Merry Christmas and yeah I hope you guys have a good rest of your day thank you for watching my video and thank you again for 3,000 subscribers we're nearly at 3,100 that's how fast we're going it is boiling hot in my room they need to turn off this radiator they need to turn off this heat in Jesus Christ I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you have a good rest of your day and as always cute oh cue the outro